Hi, Emanuela here. I had a realization this week that's really shaken me and I feel like now I need to do something about it. I had 25 beautiful women in my kitchen drinking tea and singing. I'd never met any of them before. I posted something on a Facebook group where I hadn't been for you know five or six years. I've been off social media, as many of you know. But I posted, who wants to come and sing with me in my kitchen and drink tea? Low stakes, no commitment. You don't have to be good, just enthusiastic. Now, I don't know much about social media, so I thought no one was interested. And it wasn't until the admin approved it a day later and I had 400 messages in a 48 hour period. I had 150 women join a group just from my neighborhood by the end of the weekend. What this told me is that there is a deep, profound need for people to feel that they have ownership of their own voices. In inviting this group of women, I could only fit 25, so I'm running as many of these groups as I can in 25 lots until we find a bigger place to go. But inviting these women to my kitchen and spending time with them, just 90 minutes of singing music that was simple, it was unscripted, it was call and response, it was listening to each other in a meaningful way. I realise that the stakes are so high so often in our lives when we hear our own voices and we very rarely have an environment where we can listen to our own voice and listen to the voice of those around us. And if we make a mistake and if we get it wrong, it's still okay. I've been thinking about this. How can I help you, not just women, you know, obviously as a mum, this is the group I've landed myself in is, is the local mums group and, and I see this growing, but I work with beautiful men as well every day that feel that their voice isn't being heard. And these are people that are high achievers. They are intelligent. They have a lot to offer the world. They do good in the world. And yet they live with the fear and concern that their voice isn't being heard, the fear that they're not going to be taken seriously, the terror of dying alone because no one heard their voice. It sounds hyperbolic, it sounds extreme, but at the heart of it, that's what it is. That's what this fear of anxiety, fear of performance, fear of speaking up is, is that we're going to be rejected and end up alone. So on a very basic level, here's some thoughts that I think might help. The first one, and of course, as a singer, this is what I'm going to go to, is sing. When I felt the most depleted in my life, the most alone, the most depressed, you know, after having babies or having some failures in business, the last thing I wanted to do was sing. The last thing I wanted to do was hear my own voice. But slowly, just one note at a time, one silly song at a time. Then finally, one Beyonce song, one Whitney Houston song, one Taylor Swift song. I started to sing badly and then better and then with more excitement and then around others, in the shower, in the car, in my kitchen, in my garden. Start somewhere, sing one note, honk, meow, moo, I don't care, but make a sound, hear your own voice in a safe place. The shower is the best place to start. Secondly, you can't do it alone. Find someone that will listen to you, someone that will validate you, find your people. It's hard. Since I moved to Melbourne 10 years ago, this is one of the most difficult cities I've ever found to find friends in, but keep going, keep looking for your people because they will reflect back at you, hopefully in an honest way, in a validating way. And then bring it all together. Practice. Practice the sound of your voice and practice the courage it takes to speak to others and then take that into another environment. Take that into the workplace. Take that into the schools. Take that into the daycares. Take that into your mum's groups. Because very rarely, this is the big realisation, very rarely do we ever have the opportunity to hear our own voice where the stakes aren't high. The first time you hear yourself give a presentation will be in front of the board. It will be in front of your peers, in front of your team, in front of your children, who are the worst critics of all sometimes. You need to find environments where you can practice hearing your own voice and the stakes are lower and you feel safer so that when the stakes are higher, like in that boardroom, like in that PNC meeting, you've had the opportunity to practice and learn that your voice has value and what it feels like to be heard so that you feel more confident in asking for that, asking for that audience. I hope that thought is helpful. I hope someone out there found it validating. 
I started doing what I do to help people find their voice, not just singers, not just actors, but everyone. Everyone has a voice. And I'm here to help. Feel free to let me know your thoughts.